the whole, I don't know if I got genetics. I'm a ectomorph of this. Go, go eat. Go train. Just yeah, eat and train. Shut up. Go. That's it. That's it. Eat and train. That, that's like that's like maybe 70% of your answers to some of these questions. <laughs> to most. <laughs> I wish they would go more detailed. It's like, yeah. okay, this is how much we should know about your protein and your fats and your car. Right. And then what's going on with Johnny over at Titan Medical and how can the Hercules potion maybe help me? Uh, maybe a MK at night would get my IGF up. Yeah. Yeah. That's where I wish this would go to for those people going, you know what? You know what? I'm sick of looking in the mirror and not being happy. Mm -hmm. I wish those, they would just go, I want to make sure that I'm the very, very best I could possibly be. Definitely. All right. Are SARMs any good? I don't think SARMs are good at all. I mean, it's a detriment out there. Um, people that take SARMs select androgen receptor modulators. Great theory, but they don't work because they cut off your natural testosterone levels. So you might as well take testosterone if you're going to go down that path. Just being honest. You'll get a lot better result. And and you won't be crashing your levels because you'll be on testosterone. So you won't need to go on testosterone afterwards. So it is what it is. But the other flip side of it, too, is most of them are oral and most of them are very, very toxic to the liver. And they bring liver functions up. So if you are going to take SARMs, I would take some glutathione along with it. And then be prepared to do some blood testing and possibly TRT after you're done. Go take the Hercules potion and the EAAs over at Titan Medical. Yeah. Forget the arms. And that being said, Johnny, we're going to finish on this bad boy here. All right. Rock and roll, do my friend. Snacks count towards total calorie count. Of course. Of course they do. If you're being honest with yourself, if you want to cheat yourself, you can go, oh, they don't count. Where are my meals at today? Yeah, coach. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Michael Hurt. Yep. Yep. I only have my, my 2,000, 2,100 calories today between my three meals. Or I should say five, but no snacks. That ain't going to go. Your snacks are going to count. Be honest with yourself. Know where those counts are at and, and just, just try to do your best, I guess. I mean, the best thing I can say is, is just start like taking away a little bit at a time. So like, if you eat the same snack every day, twice a day, start by only eating it once a day. I, mean, I don't say, but snacks do count. This is a stupid statement. His, I like I it. Know. I like, I like yeah. Kyle's. Before we go to the next one, Kyle, they don't count. I know Johnny's saying they do. They don't because they're in the fasted window of a meal to a meal. So anything in there just vanishes. Eat as many snacks as you want. Go to town, buddy. And also remember to do that before bedtime as well because those calories don't count either. Enjoy, my friend.